Here is where we left off last time. Now we will set the initial state for our particles. So we will begin by creating an initial state file that we will later on use to be able to begin our simulation on frame 1 from the state we are now seeing on our screen. To do so, we will go inside our particle emitter node and after the point node, we will be creating a file node. Hit tab, the context menu will appear. Begin writing the word file, then create the file node. Now we have to establish the connection between the output of the point node and the input of the file node by connecting them like so. Then in the attributes of the file node, we will change the file mode from read files to write files. And we will specify a file path and a file name for the files to be written. In my case, I will give it the name initial state and I will place it in the directory I'm working in. If you want to include the frame numbers in your file names, you will just want to use the $f variable, but in my case I don't need it since I will only need one frame. The file node is evaluated on every frame. And since in my case I didn't use the $f variable, the file initial state will be overridden whenever any frame in the sequence is played. The file I'm interested in is the one corresponding to the frame 240. So before activating the file node, I will just go backwards one frame by hitting the minus button. Now I'll activate the file node, then I'll hit on the plus button to go to the frame 240 and make the file node evaluate on this frame. At this time, I'll make sure my file was created by hitting on the open button in the file node attributes. Very good, here we can see it. So now we have our particles initial state file created. Next step will be by setting the initial state of our particles using this file. I will begin by deactivating the file node that we used to create the initial state file since we don't need it anymore. I'll disconnect it. Then I will select my PopNet node and in its attributes I can see an attribute called initial state. So I will hit on the open button beside it and I will choose my initial state file I had just created. I'll hit accept. It will take some time to load it in. Now if I hit rewind, I can clearly see that I'm on frame 1 and at the same time nothing has changed in my viewport. My particles now kept the state that I had on the frame 240 and they didn't go back to the state they used to be in on the frame 1. Now I will also turn off the visibility of my point node since I also already saved it in the initial state file. At this point I need to stop the particles emission. I'll go inside the PopNet node, then I'll select the source node. In its attributes I will go to the birth tab and I will zero out the const birth rate. I'll go back to my object context. I'll hit rewind and play. And now I can see that my particles are static, nothing is changing, and that my initial state is now set. I will stop this part here, and in the next part we will be seeing how to apply some forces to our particles to blow them away.